Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because I have a Kia EV9 behind me and this thing has been long awaited. Now what makes the EV9 so interesting is it's the first like mass market electric through SUV. Of course you have the Model X, you have the Rivian R1S, but those are very expensive. So the fact that we have a three row electric SUV for, this one has an MSRP of $65,000, I'm interested. <laughs> Now, this is just a quick little video to see how car seat friendly that second row is. I actually have one with a bench seat and I was able to fit three car seats across. I want to talk you through what I did, what car seats I chose. But if you are looking for a family hauler, but you want to be electric, this might be your best option. So with this Kia EV9 bench, I brought three car seats. I brought two Brytax Poplars and one Graco SlimFit 3LX. These are kind of my new go-to SlimFit car seats. And honestly, I probably could have done multiple combinations of these two seats, including the same three seats, but I just wanted to try some different things. Um, I started with the middle seat, which is something I always do when I'm installing three across because I just want to make sure I have a good installation in the middle. The LX3 fit really well there. Um, I probably didn't have to remove the headrest, but I opted to anyway. Then I installed this Brytax Poplar rear facing. First note, look at that clearance, you guys. Now, what's great about the EV9, it's actually nine inches longer than the Telluride. You have a lot of nice second row legroom, which for people with car seats means more rear facing car seat clearance. And then behind the passenger, I opted for another Brytax Poplar. I installed all of them with the seatbelt, which is what I like to do when I'm doing three across because then I'm actually able to move the seats a little bit more to the edge to kind of give some more room in between. I mean, look at how nice this is, you guys. Like to be able to fit a hand through there easily. I'm very impressed with the width of this bench. I did have to remove the headrest to fit the Brytax here, which she kind of gives me some trouble with headrest, so I'm not that concerned. They're obviously all removable in the second row, not removable in the third row, however. As far as like car seat amenities goes, we do have ceiling vents, which is awesome. We love this little panoramic sunroof back here. No way to access the third row with car seats installed. Uh, it's not a car seat friendly tilt. They utilize the tilt and slide, so you can't really access the third row. As far as the hardware is concerned, with the bench seat, we have lower anchors on both outboard seats, tether anchors across the bench. In the third row, we only have two seats, which you guys know I like, right? Because then we have two really good seats instead of like a person sitting on a buckle, just two seats both equipped with lower anchors and tether anchors, which is excellent. You really, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better third row. Leg room's a little tight back there, which of course matters for people who have like, you know, legs or like are in a booster or out of car seat, but it also is definitely going to affect your forward facing kids as well. because They might not be able to fit their legs pretty comfortably through here. So second row, great leg room. Third row leg room, definitely less than the Telluride. So that's just a quick breakdown of the car seat setup of the Kia EV9. Like I said, you guys, probably one of the most car seat friendly electric cars you can get right now. And I'm so excited about the three across possibilities. If you're looking for my full EV9 tour and you want me to walk you through the tech, the safety, the convenience features, we'll leave a link in the description box below.